because you went to Morocco. Morocco. Oh. And how long were you in Morocco? I've been in uh, Morocco. It was just over two weeks. It was almost like 16, 17 days, and it was insane. Amazing. Yeah, first trip right into Africa, and we yeah. started in Casablanca, went all the way around the Outer Rim, and ended up in Marrakesh, and so. Assalamu alaikum, ikhwan al-akhwat. Tuna tukum bi-khair. Marhaba bi-kum video jadid. Ila kinti awal mara katshahad na. Dhat ala zir ishtirak bishtab al-jadid yel na. Ajbuk al-video. Khali ijab. O khali ta'liq. Udir fi al-mulahadat tiyak. Tfarjo fi al-video tal-akhir. Because you went to. Morocco. Morocco. Oh. And how long were you in Morocco? I've been in uh, Morocco. It was just over two weeks. It was almost like 16, 17 days, and it was insane. Amazing. Yeah, first trip right into Africa, and we yeah. started in Casablanca, went all the way around the Outer Rim, and ended up in Marrakesh, and saw so many different cultures and so many different flavors. Mm -hmm. oh, so I can just imagine. So we're going to have a look at Jason's trip to Morocco. <laughs> Behind me is the central market in Casablanca where you can get the freshest of fish and the most amazing product. Okay, the covers. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you're in the market and I just, I like the fact that when, when you all travel, I mean, you travel like chefs. You want to get in there to the markets, you want to see the flavors and the colors. Uh, you're going to make a recipe inspired by your travels. Well, this is all about the spices, and it was yeah. funny because we actually did a cooking demonstration in one of the places when I was there. Amazing. Um, and uh, the guy was putting all the spices, and I'm like, when I would say stop, he would double it. Yes. You know, it was just like, you know, <laughs> but you know, that kind of like more two spoons, like, no, let's put more in there. Like, oh, yeah. Holy. <laughs> you know, and you do, you get the kind of the little sweat skull to keep it going. But uh, so we're doing a, a lamb tagine. Uh, tagine. Nice. Um, nice. But, uh, you know, first of all, well, actually, I'm going to get you to start. Pass me the grape seed oil. So Suzanne, get ready because they're bossy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just I, just I, a little bit of that. Right? Welcome, Perfect. with Chef. That's is that good. good? Yeah, that's right. good. And she already told me she's gonna call me Chef, make I... me feel old, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chef, you got Chef for me. So she's gonna stir. I want to get the onions going, but what we've got is this tagine, which is a nice, um, basically cast iron base, and we got these from the Crusade. Oh, and nice. I love that they're, you know, the traditional ones are the clay. Yeah. You know, you put them on the charcoal, you cook away, fantastic. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I want to put it on a stove top, so it's kind of a modern version of it. Love that. I don't have to worry about, you know, the, if I drop the clay, it's going to shatter. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to start the onions stirring away the, uh, the off cuts. This is the shoulder, or you can use the, the sirloin. You can see there's a lot of fat on there. Yeah. If we tried to sear this and cook it off, what would it be, like a rubber band, right? Basically. You know, yeah. it's just tough. Okay. And it needs flavor. Uh, garlic, of course. Put that in there. But then we get into cinnamon. There's a lot of cinnamon in Moroccan Ooh, cuisine. Nice. It really gives it that kind of aromatic, which I think is great. Yeah. Cardamom, ground down. Oh, nice. uh, and then, of course, a little bit of paprika. Okay, okay smell that. Isn't oh, that amazing? Yeah. This is how oh, I would cook it. This is how you'd want it, and because, now you're going to cook it like because this. Because it gives a bed for the actual lamb. Now, okay. you can sear the lamb a little bit, too, if you want, but I think with this one, I decided to kind of just lay it right on top. Okay. All right? Good. And you can just kind of pile it on. This and is it, like the first time it's okay to crowd the pan. Yeah. Oh, it totally. Right. Right. Yeah. Because we have that chimney, yeah. it's going to let it go, right? It's going to steam it. So, and it's almost like you're steaming, braising. The aromas have nowhere to go. So what does the tagine do then? Like, how is it, what would you liken it to? Is there anything out there like it? Well, it's funny, but see how it's got that curve on the top? Yeah. It's almost creating a little bit of a convection oven. Okay. Because the heat's coming up and it's yeah. and stirring it in, and then it has nowhere it's to go. Right? Back down. right? Yeah. yeah. But what we're going to do is add some liquid to this. So if you want to take some tomato paste, yeah, sure. yep. a little bit of uh, veg stock, <laughs> stock. Come on. Uh, and then we've got uh, some cornstarch and some saffron. Mm, and what nice. I thought was interesting was uh, the Moroccans, they actually do the sauces where they'll thicken the agent here yeah. and pour that in so that actually it was thicken as it cooks. Yeah. Okay. You know? So, right. and then we added a bit of saffron there as well. Nice. Saffron? Amazing sauce, it's gonna happen. But then at this Beautiful. point, we're also gonna throw in some nice cooked potato. Oh, you're gonna up. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna pile this in there, right? Some tomatoes, yeah. some apricots. And you some made, cause this is gonna cook, like that yeah. lamb's just gonna fall apart, cook yeah. down, right? Tomatoes on top, like how this. How long you know simmer this for? I, you know, it depends on how big you cut it, but I'm. Are you gonna take the temperature down on the stove top? Or I am. Is it just gonna, I'm yeah? gonna put that like that. It just kind of Give it a little half. It'll eventually it, get there. It'll get there. <laughs> it's gonna simmer down. Turn it down to a simmer and just forget about it. 
Okay. You know, and I mean, forget about it. Let like it go. Really forget let it about go it. and let it go. And yeah. all of a sudden. Oh. Oh. I did it, I added some pistachios on top, I've added nice. a little bit of uh, parsley on top just to brighten it up. Amazing. It reminds me of the hottest meal I had on the hottest day in Morocco. And it's like we're sweating and eating this hot meal. Like it's hot in pepper and hot in heat. Yeah. And it's a hot day. And it was the best day. Oh, it was, it was incredible.